Are you thinking of making the move to Brookswood and Langley? Or maybe you're looking at moving to Langley in general and you're trying to find the right neighborhood for you. I'm Donovan Ash from the Elevation Real Estate Group and Remax Freeland Realty. This is your first time checking out the channel. I do weekly videos on all things about living in the Fraser Valley, as well as all things real estate. If that's of interest to you, I'd encourage you to hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification so you get notified whenever a new video drops. And if you find this information helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you hit that like button to help this get out to as many people as possible. Without further ado, let's jump right into everything about Brookswood. Brookswood is known as the country right on the edge of the city. It's known for its big mature trees and quiet streets. Brookswood is extremely safe with a crime rate that's about 12% less than the rest of Langley. So you can definitely feel good about letting your kids go play outside here. Since Brookswood is known as the country on the edge of the city, it does border Langley City to the north. It also borders Surrey to the west at 196th Street, which runs right through Langley and Surrey. The southern border of Brookswood is 16th Avenue and over towards the east, it's 216th Street. Brookswood is a good sized community in Langley and goes across two of the major north-south routes, which is 200th Street and 208th Street. If you're someone that has to commute to Vancouver, this is gonna take a little bit longer from Brookswood. So let's go over some of the general commute times for some of the major areas within the Fraser Valley and the greater Vancouver area. It's gonna take you just over an hour to get to downtown Vancouver from Brookswood, about 34 minutes to get to the King George Skytrain station, about 12 minutes to go into the Costco, in Langley City, about seven minutes to the hospital in Langley, and about 18 minutes to get to the US border. Of course, this could be a lot shorter if you live in Southern Brookswood, closer to 16th Ave. Next, let's chat about what type of home you're going to find in Brookswood. I would say Brookswood is made up of probably 95 to 99% single family homes, with the rest being mobile homes, usually located in mobile home parks. Now you're not gonna find any condos or townhouses in Brookswood for the most part, but that may be coming in the future. There is the Brookswood Fern Ridge Community Plan, which has been in motion for the past 30 plus years, and it's unclear as to when exactly that will be approved. However, development applications are currently being submitted for some townhouse projects and condos in the Brookswood area for the future, so it will be coming eventually. As far as what you're going to find today, like I said, it's going to be mostly single family homes. These single family homes were mostly built in the 70s and 80s, and they feature beautiful large lots with mature trees all around. Brookswood is known for its park-like features, which makes this a great place for everybody that enjoys the outdoors. Many of these homes will also feature detached shops, where people can either store stuff or work on classic cars, which is a really popular thing in Brookswood. It's not uncommon to be cruising through Brookswood on a Friday or Saturday night and see dozens of old classic cars cruising the streets as well. The type of detached homes you're gonna find go from everything from ranchers to two level homes to split level homes up to your classic three level homes. And there are some beautiful new construction homes being built in Brookswood as we speak. This gives you great options for everybody and just about every budget if you are looking in that detached category. Homes in Brookswood are generally a little bit more affordable than the rest of Langley, with the average price of a home in Brookswood being $1,370,000, compared to the rest of Langley, which is just a hair under 1.5 million. The last thing to mention about homes in Brookswood is that a majority of them are on their own septic system with very few homes being hooked up to sanitary sewer that the city runs. So this is one thing to consider when moving to Brookswood. If you're comfortable with that, generally on a day-to-day -day basis, it doesn't affect you, except you do have to have your septic system serviced and pumped on an annual or biannual basis. So you may be outside enjoying the nice weather and your neighbor might be pumping a septic system, but that's just part of the charm of living in Brookswood. One really cool thing about Brookswood is that you can actually get lakefront property in Langley there. That's right, lakefront property does exist in Brookswood. There are a couple of man-made lakes with communities around them that have exclusive use of those lakes. So if that is something you're looking for, that can be found in Brookswood, which is, I don't think anywhere else within the township of Langley, unless you maybe have your own small lake on your property. If you don't have $1,370,000, but you'd still like to live in Brookswood, you do have the option to rent. There's not a ton of rental options in this area, 
because there aren't any townhomes or condos. So you're going to be renting either a basement suite, a top floor of a house, the bottom floor of a house, or an entire house. Those are pretty much your only options. Basement suites are gonna range from about $1,400 a month up to $2,000 a month. And if you're looking for the top or bottom of a home, you're gonna start around that $2,500 a month range and go all the way up to $4,500 for a full house. Of course, depending on the age and the you know niceness of the home. Some are a little bit more beat up than others. Next, let's get into some of the neighborhood highlights that make Brookswood such a great place to live. Brookswood has tons of parks, no shortage of outdoor space at all. I'm just gonna name a few of them that really stand out to me that I've experienced and really enjoyed for myself. The first one would be No Booth Park. They have great soccer and baseball fields here, so it's a fantastic place to play sports. And you'll often see a lot of organized kids sports being played there on nice evenings in the spring and summer. Brookswood Pond and Trail is a fantastic place to go check out with your dog if you have one and go enjoy a nice walk in nature. One of the coolest amenities in this area is the Penzer Action Park, which has a pump track for bikes as well as dirt jumping area for mountain bikes as well. This is very cool. It's actually on kind of the Langley city border, but we're gonna include it because it is right there on the border and very accessible from Brookswood. The action park there also has like some kind of parkour type stuff for kids at different age levels so that they don't try anything too challenging and hurt themselves, but there's options for as they get better and better, they can take on harder and harder challenges. There's also Upwind's Dog Park, which has a separate area for smaller dogs and bigger dogs. So that's a great place to take your little guy if you don't want them to get picked on by the bigger dogs. There are way more parks in Brookswood, but we're not gonna get into every single one of them. If you want some more information on the parks, feel free to check out the description below and I'll have a link to some more of the park options that are in Brookswood you can check out for yourself. Some of the other amenities in Brookswood include the George Preston Arena, or as I knew it growing up, the Civic Center. This is the home of the Langley Riverman Junior A hockey team and also hosts many minor hockey teams in the Langley Minor Hockey Organization. There's also the Brookswood Library and an equestrian club but Brookswood is not known for its overwhelming amenities. Let's chat quickly about your food options as well as your shopping options in the Brookswood area. The nicest food option you're gonna have is the Lodge Steakhouse, which is actually located inside George Preston Arena on the top floor. I haven't had a chance to check it out yet, but some members of my team went and had a great time. If you're looking to grab a pint, there's the Artful Dodger, which is a little bit further south, and that's a kind of classic joint to go grab a pint and a burger and always a good time. If you're looking to grab a quick bite in Brookswood, there are three sushi places, as well as a Ocean Park pizza, McDonald's, Starbucks, all of those kind of quick bite options. If you're looking to do some basic shopping, Cedar Brook Mall is going to be your center for that. This is really the community hub of Brookswood. They have a Bilo Foods, the Starbucks is located there, as well as the McDonald's and some of the sushi restaurants. This is gonna get you through your kind of basic shopping needs, but if you're looking to do a big major shop, you're probably gonna wanna venture into Langley City to hit up Costco or save on foods. Next, let's go over the schools in Brookswood. Brookswood has seven schools plus two private schools, so there's definitely an option for everyone here. There is one secondary school in Brookswood called Brookswood Secondary. They have some excellent sports programs as well as a well-established French immersion program. One of the more sought after schools in the Brookswood area is Langley Fundamental Middle and Secondary School. This school comprises of 700 students between grades six to 12, and is, like I said, one of the more sought after schools in the area. They have an emphasis on the fundamentals of education. There's also a number of elementary schools, like St. Catharines Elementary, Belmont Elementary, and Noel Booth Elementary. So who is this neighborhood best for? Brookswood is definitely a fantastic neighborhood for families. It is one of the safest communities in the Langley area, and it has big wide open spaces for kids to get outside and play. I remember having some friends in Brookswood when I was growing up, so I spent a lot of nights out there running around on the streets with them, having a blast playing in the forest and doing all kinds of great stuff that kids like to do. Brookswood is also a fantastic place for seniors. There are many single level rancher homes here on large lots that still give you space and independence, 
with less maintenance than a great big house. This is also a fantastic place for people that love dogs and their pets. Similar to having kids, there's a lot of open spaces to take them to run and play and burn off that energy before relaxing in your living room watching some TV in the evening. And the last person that Brookswood will likely attract are car enthusiasts. I mentioned that earlier, it's not uncommon to see many classic cars cruising the streets of Brookswood in the evenings, especially on some nice summer nights. This is an attractive place for car enthusiasts because many of the homes here have shops in the backyard. So you can have an extra place to store your car, work on your car, and keep it nice and clean away from all the leaves from the big tall trees which is coming up next, let's get into some of the cons of living in Brookswood because it's not always sunshine and rainbows. One of the cons is that many of the homes in Brookswood are older. So if you buy one of those, you're gonna have to do some upkeep and maintenance on that home to keep it running well. Another maintenance item is going to be the septic system that you're most likely gonna have in your Brookswood home. This is gonna require some annual maintenance as well as getting it pumped out every year or two. Another thing to consider when moving to Brookswood is that you have all of these beautiful, tall, mature trees, which are great to look at and great for privacy, but of course they do contribute to some debris, which can clog your gutters and allows moss to grow on your roof in the shade. So you're gonna have to do a little bit more home maintenance if you're living in an area like Brookswood. The last one is that there's not a lot of sidewalks in Brookswood. Down some of the side streets, you're not really gonna find them. And even along 200th Street, for the most part, you're not going to find a ton of sidewalks unless you're right kind of in that city center area close to the mall. In my mind, that's not a huge con because if you're living in Brookswood, you're most likely gonna be driving everywhere, but something to keep in mind for kids running around, going to their friend's house, and roaming the streets of Brookswood, playing street hockey and getting into all kinds of shenanigans. Overall, Brookswood is a fantastic place to live. And if you're looking for a little bit more space and privacy, it's probably one of your top choices in Langley for its affordability and the privacy that it offers. You can still find homes on large lots here with space to breathe for the whole family. If you're considering making the move to Brookswood and you wanna have a conversation about it, click the link in the description and you can book a quick 10 minute meeting with me or we can chat about kind of your options and what exactly you're looking to do. If this video has been helpful, I'd ask once again that you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified whenever a new video drops. And if you have found it helpful, feel free to hit that like button as that helps get this information out to more people that are searching for it. Thanks so much for your time. Once again, I'm Donovan Ash from the Elevation Real Estate Group and Remax Freeland Realty, and we'll see you in the next video.